Hey, will you make a service portal widget so that we can let people submit live votes during a session? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, cool, write these details down. Voting options is on the voting options table and votes are being recorded on the voting votes table. <laughs> Use bootstrap when needed, okay? Okay, cool. I'll make the story and we'll get it into the next sprint. Hey, thanks for getting that widget done. I think we'd save more space if the option and the vote and the deactivated buttons were all in a single line instead of stacked. It'll save some room and more options can be displayed. Yeah, good idea. I can work on that. Hey, we're so close. Can you make it so that in the admin view, the options are sorted by highest voted <laughs> selected and it displays at the top of the page? Yep, okay, I'll work on that. Hey, great work. Anything else? Nope, we're all good. Thanks for all the adjustments, no problem. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you talk from one developer to another developer or an analyst to a developer. Oh, well, in Vibe Coding, this is what it would look like. I am in a generative AI coding interface and I am typing in exactly what I just said in the other video. In this service now service portal widget, we are going to allow people to make votes and the options are on this table. Uh, there's a, these are the fields that are on that table uh, and all the, all the votes are being recorded on the voting table. In the widget, there's gonna be two views, a standard view and an admin view. And I describe what should happen on each of those views. The standard view is just to show all the options that are active. And then the admin view shows how many votes have happened for everything that's still active. And if an admin clicks on that option, it gets deactivated. And then I end with this, the design should look good for a mobile view, aesthetically pleasing, use bootstrap. So I'm gonna generate and you'll see that uh, it's going to walk me through what it's doing. It's gonna give me implementation steps. It's gonna write the server script for me, the client script for me. It's generating the HTML template. And now that I'm telling it to go ahead and modify the file for me, it will go through the widget and add the HTML, the client script, the server script, etc. And then just like in that little skit, I can say, looks great. Can you put the vote and deactivate buttons on the right of the text instead of underneath? It will save room. It modifies it even more. And then just like in that skit, I'll add this last bit of requirements. In the admin view, I want to create a current option variable that will be Angular, and it will add that to the URL whenever the admin clicks on the, the button. And now that that AI has generated that entire widget, I can go into ServiceNow and update that entire widget XML. And you'll see here that it has inputted the HTML, the server script and the client script for me. I can go into the widget and I can see that it's working. It's already working. That's the power of vibe coding, and it's the future of a lot of the ways that development will happen in the future.